Hello everyone, it's me, Nintendo LPRZ Dude, and I'm here with the next episode of my little vlogging series, Thoughts of Z Mind. This topic will be something I've been wanting to talk about for quite a bit. I'm pretty sure you guys probably have seen plenty of videos on this, so I don't really need to go into too much thought, or too much talking about the uh, specifics, but... The Club Nintendo shut down. Earlier this year, Nintendo has announced that they're shutting down their Club Nintendo loyalty program. But they have also said that they're replacing it with something else. So I'm going to talk about my thoughts and my opinions on the matter. Alright, so first things first. The thing I have up on the screen here along with the image right there that says important information on Club Nintendo program discontinuation. I'll read it to you guys. Dear Club Nintendo members, thank you for your continued loyalty to Nintendo. We launched Club Nintendo six years ago in North America and we're grateful for all of the feedback that our members have provided on your experiences with our products. In order to focus on planning for a new customer loyalty program for our fans, we have decided to wind down the Club Nintendo program. We are deeply thankful for to our members for being a part of Club Nintendo for all of these years. We will share details about our new program at a later date. For now, please see the schedule below for information on the discontinuation time frame for Club Nintendo. All coins will be deleted when Club Nintendo accounts are closed on July 1st, 2015. As a result, to give our members the best opportunity to use their coins, we will add dozens of downloadable games and a limited quantity of exclusive reward items to the rewards catalog in February. In addition, as a small token of appreciation for your loyalty, all Club Nintendo members will receive a free download code for Flipnote Studio 3D in February 2015. Please visit here for information on the software and how to get the download code. All right. Now, what you guys don't see is the uh, discontinuation schedule. This is the last thing I'll read. I'll go into the elite status, which you don't see on screen either. Um, so, 1-20-2015, products released after this date are not eligible for re registration with Club Nintendo. So, at this point, you cannot redeem, uh, put in any more downloadable codes if you just purchased, or rather, no. Codename Steam, that would be a better example, because this is saying any games released. Okay. So any games released after this point will not be able to be registered. So let's say in February you get Majora's Mask 3DS. Okay, bam, and it has a Club Nintendo code. That's invalid. Forget about it. You can throw that shit away, whatever, do whatever you want it, want with it. It's pointless. Same thing with Codename Steam and any other future games that will be released that happen to include a registration code for Club Nintendo. Okay. On the 31st of, Fe of March, last day to earn coins, register products with Club Nintendo, and sign up for new Club Nintendo membership. And on the 30th of June of this year, last day to redeem coins or access your account on the Club Nintendo website. Club Nintendo program shuts down at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Time on June 30th, 2015. And um, the Elite status, there will be a wide selection of downloadable games for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Um, the Elite status gift will be available between April 1st and April 30th. So all through April, you will have a chance to redeem your prize, whether you have gold or platinum membership. But that is all. And I'm just really summarizing, okay? And the rest is just an FAQ, which isn't really that important, but... Um, anyways, so now that that's done, I'm going to give my thoughts and my, uh, predictions on the matter, and I will be ref referring to what I've heard to, um, Game Explain quite a bit, actually, so if you hear me talking about them, you want to check out their video, look it up, okay? Because I'm, uh, I'm a lazy, s I'm a lazy guy. Anyways, so, Club Nintendo, it's shutting down. Have I seen this coming? Yes. I uh, was able to foresee Club Nintendo being shut down as of last year because I was like, because I think the first thing was, as a um, few people at Gamers Plane even said, you know, <clears throat> the games last year for the uh, elite statuses were pathetic in the very least. It's like, it was downloadable games and games I didn't really have an interest for or an interest in. It's like, 
I didn't really care much about them. I was like, okay, so I downloaded one, and I had platinum status at that point. Now, right now, my status is just gold. So, um, so I'm not sure if I really want to try to go get platinum. I'm probably not even going to bother trying to buy more games and register more stuff with Club Nintendo because at this point, just downloadable games, last year it was awfully pathetic. I mean, unless they announced this year beforehand that, oh, you guys can download uh, games like Super Smash Brothers, Wii U, which I already have, by the way, so I'm granted I'm getting that Wii U to DLC since I have that, the copy for the 3DS and the copy for the Wii U, but that's for another time. Um, but, nice segue to, uh, the Mewtwo DLC. <clears throat> I actually do think, now, for those of you who are currently at both Register and Club Nintendo, I think we will still be getting the Mewtwo DLC. It'll become, the download code will be coming probably sometime in March. Don't worry. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they give it away in February, you know, in the same email that they give, uh, that they send us the, uh, Flipnote Studio 3DS download code. The same email wouldn't surprise me. Would get both of them out of the way quickly. But if not, I'm guessing either March or April. Sometime before June because, you know, that would just be, like, a little too soon. Um, maybe May, but I'm guessing that they won't really want to release Mewtwo in May because that's when Splatoon is being released. And they know how popular Smash Brothers is. So if they release that Mewtwo D DLC in May before Splatoon's release or even afterwards, then... And Splatoon is going to be hurt, multiplayer-wise. People are still going to buy it, granted, but it's they're not going to play it as often as they would play, say, Smash Brothers because of Mewtwo. A lot of people wanted Mewtwo. Back when the game was being, before it was released, people were like, Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. Hell, that Greninja trailer had a lot of us think. I mean, even me fooled. I thought it was going to be Mewtwo, but they were like, Greninja, whatever his catchphrase was back then. Um you know, into battle, and so I'm like, okay, granted, that's cool, but I wanted, but I, for, like, a lot of people wanted Mewtwo, I mean, I was happy with just about all the characters, I'm happy with them, but, you know, again, I was, like, one of the few people who was, like, indifferent, but leaning towards the side of wanting, I mean, it wasn't exactly a strong desire for Mewtwo, it's not like it was, like, a huge factor or anything, but, yeah. So I still think we're going to get it. I'm going to guess sometime April latest, but I'm not going to, but you shouldn't hold your breath for that much because I don't think that they want to really ruin Splatoon's, the amount of people online on Splatoon because then really that would ruin it for a lot of people who are on Splatoon because then, you know, it just wouldn't be fair. Um, other than that, the <clears throat> new program, they haven't said anything and I'm Going to predict. This is just a prediction, but I'm going to guess that we will hear something about it in the very latest E3. That's probably the longest time you'll have to wait to, before you hear anything about the new loyalty program. Because so I believe the new loyalty program is coming sometime later this year, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hear a lot of information about it at E3. If Nintendo holds a Nintendo Direct before E3, and that's the first thing they talk about, where you see, I don't know, Reggie on screen, Miyamoto on screen, since it's not only the North American Club Nintendo, it's the European Club Nintendo, the Japanese Club Nintendo, it's like all major Club Nintendos, for all we know, are being shut down, and so I'm going to guess that that club, that it might be Miyamoto on screen with English subtitles, or maybe speaking English, because I think he's done that at least once now, not exactly positive. Refresh. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I'm going to say in the, the very least with English subtitles on the bottom or someone speaking English uh, over top of him. And he's saying something like, Welcome! Now we're going to report directly to you a brand new re loyalty program. Now I don't know what it's going to be called, but I'm just going to guess. This is just... Take this with a grain of salt, okay? Don't believe me. Don't say, oh, he has information. No. I'm just going to guess it might be called... I'm going to guess something like Nintendo Loyal. Just... Just to put something there, just so I can shorten it, NL for Nintendo Loyal. Um, just placeholder name, put it there in your head. Just leave it up there in the sky, though, because that's where I'm grabbing that name from. Um, although it sounds like something Nintendo would come up with for a new name. Still. Anyways, and what this program might be something like, might be like the Deluxe... <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the, delu the Digital Deluxe Promotion, or whatever it was called. 
um, where people got to save, say, $10 on every game, I believe, um, if they had the uh, deluxe edition of the Wii U, which I have, by the way. So I'm guessing that the new loyalty program will be something that will tie more into that, and I'm hoping it actually allows for system unification. And I think they're hinting that the new program might have that because of the Mario and Donkey Kong game for the Wii U. You buy for the Wii U, you get a free download code mailed to you in the mail for the 3DS. You get a free download code for that for the 3DS. So I'm going to guess that that's how it will go. I'm not going to... Now, I'm not saying that that's true. That the whole thing about this whole new loyalty program is true. Because, again, I'm taking all this from the sky because I'm like... This is... We know nothing about this loyalty program. So everything is just pure speculation. I can't e reiterate that enough. If you take it the wrong way, don't blame it on me. If, your friend, if come June, we hear... Just about everything on it, and I'm absolutely wrong. Don't come at me saying I lied. Because this is just speculation, and I'll point this out multiple times. And in the comment, your reply, I'll say multiple times, here's where I said it was speculation. You are wrong. I didn't lie. I was guessing. So the entire thing, though, it is a wise move, though. I mean, if they go this way where you get to download, where say you register five programs, five games on this new loyalty program. Um, then guess then I'm gonna guess that you might be able to get like say a new game or something. A new game like say be able to purchase, I don't know, a new full length game. Say you don't have Smash Brothers Wii U at that point. But you register five games. You can download Smash Brothers Wii U onto your Wii U and be able to play it immediately, full game, not a demo, nothing short like a virtual console game, although I can imagine those being there. So I could imagine that working because that would create a lot more loyalty. They get a lot of money and the player gets to have one free game every so often. So that would be smart because I wouldn't mind that. Because, you know, if I wanted to get a, um, even if I wanted just a virtual console game, five games for one virtual console, that's fine by me. Um, because, you know, and I'm not sure if they're going to bring back any sort of currency like coins stars and i'm not sure what they use in uh, japan let me know in the comments if you know but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna guess that they might but they might not it might be like something that keeps track of your games it would be interesting if they go that route um and say you downloaded 10 games this year you've gotten two games for free for your consoles um, would be nice because that would really help them sell a lot of games and it would be nice to uh, actually be able to choose a free game um, Anyways, so yeah Did I see it coming? Yes What do I think they'll do now? Something like the de deluxe digital promotion um, Something like that where but maybe where you get like free games every so often from the site um, and maybe some actual tangible rewards i'm not exactly positive those i can see going away forever nintendo has made that clear because they've scarcely updated the north american catalog in the very least i mean i've heard a lot of good stuff about the european catalog but as i'm a citizen of the united states and i'm living in the u.s i have to use the north american club nintendo and that really bites me <laughs> our catalog is crap in comparison to that of um europe so for the most part it's gone everything's gone or will be gone in february they'll be adding a lot of interesting things and we'll also be getting a download code for flip note studio 3d which is good now mind you i'm not an artist but it's good i will still try to use this program because i do want to brush i do want to get better at drawing so this will be a good way you know, and the cool thing is, I believe they've stated as well somewhere that with Flipnote Studio 3D, you can re-download your, um, the, uh, Flipnote creations you've created on Flipnote Studio for the DSi. So, if you had an account on Hentai before, or, was that Hentai? No. It was something else. Um, leave the name of the, uh, server they use, because I, I know it's something different with a frog. It wasn't like... Now connected to Nintendo Wi-Fi. I was like connecting to something else. It was something with an H-E something, something, something. I know it ended with like an A-I. But I'm not exactly sure what it was. Um, anyways. So leave it in the comments if you know what it is. And um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. I know this is a pretty lengthy... <laughs> 
video, but I had a lot to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed my thoughts, my theories, my ideas. I mean, you might be saying to yourself, huh, I have a lot in common, my a lot of ideas in common with that of uh, Game Explain. And no, I didn't steal them, but I actually do agree with them quite a bit. Now, one thing I could still see um, happening with the new loyalty program, though, I can't really think of much else. Huh. Well, let me try to predict a release schedule. I'm going to guess we'll have this new loyalty program by the winter holidays of 2015, of this year. That's when it'll be up. We'll probably get one, like, two Nintendo Directs talking about this entire program. The first games you can actually be, that would actually be registerable on this new site. Because, I mean, the one thing we do know for certain is that you can register games on this. Because it wouldn't be a loyalty program if you couldn't register games on it. Because what's the point in just having an online shop? You know, that's not exactly a loyalty program. That's just a store, an e-store. So you can register games on it because that way they can keep track. Oh, you have this game, this game, this game. Oh, yeah, that's right. S surveys. Um, I'm hoping that they either get rid of them completely or tweak or really down them a lot. They asked too many questions. A lot of them were pretty redundant. It's like, ooh, so um, where do you first hear about this game? And where do you... It's like, I... I mean, it's like, okay, it's like Splatoon comes out. Where did I first hear about this? E3, I think. But what if you don't quite remember? There's the issue. So I'm hoping they really make it down a bit where it's like, where do you pick this game up? How many people do you play it with? Because if it's like five questions, I don't mind that. But I usually do copy and paste answers onto Club Nintendo, um, onto the surveys, because it's quite tedious to do. And sometimes I have like three games I have to, I want to register at once, and I just don't want to be spending six hours on a on three surveys. So I'd rather just breeze through them quickly rather than get them done, or rather than answer them too honestly. So it's just pathetic. And so again, this has been Nintendo LP or Z Dude. I hope to see you guys next time, and uh, leave your own thoughts in the comments. What do you think they will be adding, or what do you think the new loyalty program will be like? Um, and uh, what are your thoughts on the... Um, What's going on with Club Nintendo in general right now? What rewards do you think we'll see in February? Feel free to tell me. I know February's a few days away, but I think we'll see the new games, like, say, February 2nd. So, again, this has been Nintendo LPSD, dude. And I hope you guys have a good day. And I can't wait to hear from you guys as well. Bye, guys.